2022 is the 50th anniversary of Haggard and Stocking Associates. We are really excited to bring you this vlog series. In this series, we're going to be talking about our history, where we got our start, the things we're doing today, and the things that make us who we are. We're really excited about this series, and we hope that you enjoy. I want to welcome you again to the next edition of the Haggard and Stocking video vlog of our journey through 50 years. Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about our VMI and our integration programs. As a lot of you know, we're heavily involved in integration. And John, high up here, he handles two of our largest integration programs. John, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Haggard and Stocking had integrated supply accounts on a small scale, but in 1993, an opportunity arose with United Airlines. If only we could figure out a way to prove ourselves to them. And that opportunity presented itself in the form of a newspaper article my father read. He read an article about United Airlines breaking ground here in Indianapolis. And he thought this would be a great chance for us to show them and show the industry what we can do within our integrated supply programs. He decided to take a long weekend trip to California and he flew there with a suitcase full of catalogs, some information about Hagger and Stocking, and he did something he'd probably get in trouble for today and that's he walked in the side door. He walked in the side door, and whether it is divine intervention, good luck, or plain old good living, who knows. But the security actually took him to, to meet with a team that, that was meeting that day that was a relocation team to move their facility and, and some of their programs here to Indianapolis. He got about 10, 15 minutes to present to them who we are and what we do. They were impressed enough, they asked him to come back a few weeks later and make a full-blown presentation. He did that, and then after a few more phone calls, a few more negotiations, we landed the program that became the United Airlines Maintenance Facility Program that John managed and became a catalyst to a lot of the programs and things that we do today. A lot of the things that we do today, which came out of that program, are our safety division, uh, our material handling division, all of the ancillary things that became Haggard and Stocking outside of the engineer tooling facet. And we've continued to, to grow and use all of those in all of our integrated programs to this day. On top of that, with our other divisions, that move, that cold call gave us the opportunity with, with this growth to go other locations as well. Unfortunately, you know, the industry took a, ne a negative turn in the early 2000s. And when United Airlines had to restructure, they couldn't do all the work they did in Indianapolis there any longer. So they hired a third party repair facility to do their work in North Carolina. We were very fortunate enough that they liked what we did and they asked us to make a bid to this particular company. We did, we landed the program, which that helped us open a facility in Greensboro, North Carolina. And that's how we are there to this day. Not only servicing that customer, but other customers. We also got the opportunity because we're getting known in the aerospace industry, the things we do, that we were approached by a, another large company out of Waco, Texas, to talk to them. We talked to them, we made the presentation, we landed that program, and to this day, we have a, a nice large facility in Waco, Texas. We service you know, the general Waco area, the Dallas, the Fort Worth, and that area on not only aerospace tooling, but on industrial tooling as well. So it's exciting how that one cold call helped catapult us to where we are today. All of those experiences combined help us to become an integral part of our customers' day-to-day -day operations. Things like vendor-managed inventory, where we keep them in vending machines or in bins with scanning programs, all the way to things like selling popcorn, doing a coffee service for our customers, running a GSC program where we have an individual that maintains uh, pieces of equipment on the floor, ladders, casters, things of that nature. All of these things are things that we do for our customers on a daily basis that are integrated into their programs that make us more and more indispensable to them as a vendor. As you see, we have a lot of things to offer at Hagner Stocking. It's pretty exciting, everything from the vendor managing inventory to the special engineering cutting tools to just the, the unique programs. But like I said before, a lot of this stuff started when one man, my father, had a vision, had, had the courage just to step on an airplane to go make a cold call. Cold call could be scary, but to go across the country to do it, 
It's unheard of. But he had the courage to do so. And by doing so, we landed a large opportunity. It gave us knowledge. It gave us the, you know, the, the wisdom to be able to go out and see other areas that we could get involved with our customers to grow even better, to be better service providers for our customer and to be a better company altogether. So I'm grateful that he had that courage. I'm grateful he took that journey. And I hope you are too. But the, the big thing I want to say is, is thank you to him and thank you to you for supporting us. And thank you for watching this. And I look forward to seeing you again on our next video blog series.